Traffic jams aren't a life sentence. They're a challenge for engineers, designers, and dreamers across the globe. These days, technology that once seemed like science fiction is helping to solve this problem. Some of the solutions are so simple and clever that you can't help but wonder why no one thought of them sooner. Ready to be impressed? Then let's get it on. We're in Melbourne, Australia, inside the Burnley Tunnel. This 3.4-kilometre route is a key part of the city's road network. To keep it moving efficiently, engineers installed a unique lighting system. The idea is simple. Green light strips move at a fixed speed, guiding drivers to stay within an ideal range. Not too fast, not too slow. In short, the lights help smooth out the flow. It's the first system of its kind in Australia, and the results have been impressive. Since it was introduced, average speeds have gone up by 17% in the morning and 12% in the evening. Traffic clears 95% faster. One unexpected bonus was a 30% drop in truck breakdowns, since the new pace puts less strain on the brakes. Picture a traffic jam as a massive line at a grocery store checkout. Everyone's in a single queue, there's noise, frustration and grumbling. What's the solution? Elon Musk's The Boring Company suggests digging more checkouts underground. The idea is simple – move traffic into tunnels. But Musk being Musk, he's not just digging ordinary tunnels. The Boring Company wants them to handle more than cars. They could transport cargo, carry pedestrians, and house utilities. Ideally, cities would have vast underground networks where people and goods could travel at up to 200 km per hour. One of the company's most successful projects so far is the Las Vegas tunnel system. Spanning 2.7 km, it can transport around 4,500 people per hour. Just like that, the boring company is tunneling its way into the future. That's great, but what about the roads we've already built? Can anything be done to ease the traffic on them? For one possible answer, let's check out a few videos by Turkish company Dahir Insat. They've designed a gyroscopic vehicle that glides above traffic while barely touching the road. All it needs is the median strip between lanes. A simple rail, raised just a couple of centimeters, is enough to get these gyroscopic buses moving. To hear Insart says they're no more dangerous than regular buses, and they could be partially powered by solar energy. If they run fast and frequently, many drivers might gladly switch over. Fewer cars on the road means fewer jams. Sounds like a win all round. The goal of the Smart Highways project is to create adaptive smart roads that automatically respond to various traffic situations, helping drivers get from point A to point B more easily, quickly and safely. One of the key elements of Smart Highways is glowing road markings like these. They've already been tested in the Netherlands and are now a permanent feature on one of the country's highways. They're a great solution for roads with poor or no lighting at all. The project also includes smart road signs. No wonder the designers won the INDEX award, which recognizes design innovations for a better future.
Chinese engineers brought their own surprise to the high-tech expo. A rail-based superbus designed to glide above traffic and carry up to 1,200 passengers. Now that's a strong argument in the fight against congestion. Would you still drive your car if you had the chance to ride something like this? The bus is about 8 meters wide, meaning it takes up two lanes at once. Depending on how many modular sections it has, its length exceeds 30 meters. But launching such an ambitious transport system would require a serious upgrade to existing infrastructure, including custom-designed boarding platforms and special elevators to bring passengers up into the vehicle. A team of experts from MIT, ETH Zurich, and Italy's National Research Council once got together and asked themselves an interesting question. What if we reinvent intersections? Turns out, they don't need traffic lights at all. And no, that doesn't mean chaos. With the help of special sensors installed in cars, intersections can actually talk to vehicles, guiding them through safely and smoothly. No stopping, no crashing, and no traffic jams. It's especially exciting now that self-driving cars are becoming more common. By 2026, they could make up 13% of all cars sold worldwide. Hit the like button if the roads in your city are always under repair. If that's the case, you'll definitely love the Astro Mobile Bridge. It lets you drive over a repair site, and not at a crawl, but at a respectable speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Now, workers can take as long as they need, and there's no traffic jam. Plus, the ramps can be adjusted to ensure that even heavy trucks can easily get on the bridge. The bridge in this video is 236 meters long. It can be installed in about two days, and it performed excellently during the repair of the Swiss A1 highway. Would you like to take a ride on one of these? Meet the flying ferry known as the Vizcaya Bridge. Yes, you heard that right. It's a bridge, but it also works like a ferry. There's a real bridge structure overhead, but suspended from it is a moving platform that carries up to six cars and several dozen passengers from one shore to the other. Built way back in 1893, the Vizcaya Bridge is still going strong today. It doesn't just connect the two banks of the river, it also links the areas of Portugalete and Las Arenas in Spain. The platform runs back and forth every eight minutes, all day and night, all year long. And if you're in the mood for a view, there are elevators in the towers that take you up to 50 meters for a gorgeous look at the port and harbor. They might look like toys, but robo-cones are serious when it comes to traffic control. Equipped with small wheels, they roll into position on their own and offer help in several ways. Road workers no longer need to place the cones manually, which cuts the risk of getting hit by a passing car. Since the cones move quickly, repairs can begin sooner. During peak hours, they can shift lane markings to ease congestion or instantly open a path for emergency vehicles. In China, robo-cones are even used in accident response. They sit by the roadside, monitor traffic, and when a crash occurs, they roll over to secure the area so other drivers can steer around it more safely. The Flytram concept earned its creators a Red Dot Award. 
Whether we'll ever see it in real life is still a question, but the idea is undeniably intriguing. Flytram is a hybrid between a tram and a cable car. You board a cabin, ride along rails, and then rise above the traffic and exhaust fumes. In theory, it could appeal to cities that already use cable cars in their public transport system, like Rio de Janeiro or New York. The only question is the budget. Even a standard cable car in Rio once cost around $37 million to build. If the city doesn't have that kind of money and traffic issues need solving now, there are more modest solutions to start with, like the smart lane barrier. It's made up of modular segments that can stretch up to 300 meters and allow for more flexible traffic control. Imagine, for example, that one lane needs to be closed for repairs and the crew is already there. In the past, they would have spent ages setting up cones and signs and caused a traffic jam in the process. Now, they just activate Smart Lane. Within 6 to 20 seconds, the lane is closed. The barrier also works in automatic mode and can be integrated with traffic management systems. That makes it much easier to open an emergency corridor, manage reversible lanes, and handle other road challenges. Smart pedestrian crossings are also making their contribution to the battle against traffic congestion. Just take a look at what the team at Berkman Technologies has developed. They focused on sensors, cameras, and specialized AI algorithms, and ended up creating crossings that not only monitor, but also predict the movement paths of all road users. They're able to anticipate potentially dangerous situations. Drivers receive a light signal as a warning, while pedestrians get an audio alert. This means that, in theory, there should be fewer accidents in areas with these crossings. At the same time, the crossing counts both pedestrians and vehicles, evaluates their speed, records its operation on video, and even monitors the CO2 level in the air. Road zippers' concrete barriers seem to dance to the rhythm of megacities. Unlike ordinary barriers, they can be deployed and removed incredibly fast. A special machine can form a 15-kilometer barrier in just an hour, and it moves it swiftly whenever the situation demands it. For example, a 1.6-kilometer barrier across two lanes can be moved in just 10 minutes. This allows for rapid allocation of a dedicated lane for emergency vehicles, for example. Take a look at how well Road Zipper performed on one of the busiest highways in downtown Boston, USA, as well as on the German A9 motorway. Another take on future transport comes from the Easy Mile team. Their self-driving Easy 10 shuttle buses have already been tested in over 400 locations worldwide. What sets them apart is how easy they are to deploy. No need to redesign routes, rebuild roads, or overhaul cities. Easy Mile's unique technology allows the shuttles to work with streets exactly as they are, floors and all. In real time, Easy 10 scans its surroundings in 360 degrees, creating a data set that includes infrastructure, pedestrians, cyclists, and more. As a result, the shuttle drives safely and carefully, learning as it goes and adapting better to its route over time. Who knows, maybe in the near future, traffic jams will disappear, not because of new roads, but because of vehicles like these.
Emergency vehicles just don't have time to get stuck in traffic. But how can they reach people quickly when the roads are jammed? Just in Germany last year, there were about 516,000 traffic jams, and vehicles spent around 450,000 hours just sitting there. That's wild! Thankfully, Ford has come up with a potential solution. They've introduced a new kind of smart traffic lights, and fittingly, tested them in Germany. When a vehicle with special sensors approaches, the light automatically turns green. Sounds simple, but the potential impact is huge. One study even suggests that if medics could arrive just four minutes sooner, road accident fatalities could drop by up to 40%. Trams are another great option for easing congestion, but building tracks for them takes time, money, and space. And sometimes it just isn't feasible. So, what's the workaround? Chinese engineers have already built the tram of the future, and it's up and running now. This one doesn't need rails because it runs on rubber tires along specially marked paths. And it doesn't use overhead wires either, since it runs on batteries. Each charge covers about 25 kilometers, which isn't a huge range, but the batteries recharge in just 10 minutes. The three-car tram can carry up to 100 passengers, and can hit speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. Pretty impressive, right? Vectorial is a smart, creative, and refreshingly simple idea for rethinking how bus stops are laid out. Instead of being little islands by the road, these stops are designed as an extension of the sidewalk. It's the perfect solution for streets with bike lanes. And it'll definitely make drivers think twice before parking there, especially since the stops are protected with posts. They can also include ramps, making it easier for people with disabilities to get on and off the bus. And thanks to this new setup, buses no longer have to pull in diagonally across two lanes. Picture a road that tracks traffic, detects wear, and even charges electric vehicles. It isn't science fiction, but a system that is already in place in some parts of the US thanks to integrated roadways. This company's approach involves concrete slabs with 32 sensors and 16 expansion ports built into each one. These slabs provide valuable data, from the types and models of vehicles passing by to the current condition of the road. With this information, contractors and city planners can see exactly where a road should be expanded or redesigned. Repairs can also be scheduled during the least busy times. And yes, this pavement is really efficient at what it does. Even a ride down an interstate equipped with these slabs could leave your car's battery fully charged when you arrive. The team at Aerialtronics is also ready to assist anyone looking to improve traffic flow. They offer drones that are extremely useful for traffic analysis. They're equipped with Sony cameras offering 30 times optical zoom, as well as deep learning AI algorithms. As a result, the drones not only read license plates, but also track and classify vehicles based on specific parameters. The data collected will undoubtedly be useful both for optimizing current road networks and for planning future expansions. In addition, the drones can be set up to blur the faces of drivers and pedestrians, and their capabilities are expanded even further by built-in thermal imaging systems. Ferrovial is offering the most impressive and advanced roads in the world. 
They're called IVEA, and they aren't just roads packed with smart features, but an entire ecosystem 